Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can connect your hosting a domain to your Cloudflare account and you can do it completely for free. So the first thing you have to do is create a Cloudflare account and you can go to this URL dash.cloudflare.com and then click on sign up here. It's very easy to do. All you need is a email and create a password. That's it. So I already have an account, so I will directly log in and show you the next steps. After logging in, you will see an option like this. If this is the first time you are trying to add a domain to your Cloudflare account, or you can also find the add website option from here. You can find the same connect a domain option from here. So all you have to do is simply enter your domain name here. I will go back to my hosting account here. This is my domain, which I want to connect to Cloudflare. Paste it here. Now we have three options for importing our DNS record. I would recommend you to use the quick scan for DNS record. This will allow Cloudflare to copy all the, your existing records. So you will not have to manually recreate them. Then click on continue. Now you have to select a plan for your Cloudflare account. For most people, this free plan will be sufficient. But if you want to take advantage of advanced caching feature and a lot of other premium features, then you can also select the pro plan. Today we are going to select free plan for this tutorial. Click on select plan. Now Cloudflare will quickly scan all your existing records and import them. You can scroll down and see all the imported records here. Most important records are a record which points to your IPv4 address and this IPv6 address. Usually Cloudflare automatically imports so you do not have to do anything and you can also manually correct any missed record later also. They also have an add record option from where you can manually add DNS records. So for now, scroll down and click on continue to activation. Now in third step, you will see here Cloudflare is showing these are our current DNS records. I'm using Hostinger's default name servers and now we have to replace them with Cloudflare name servers. So before making the changes, I want to show you the current records. Let's go back to my website smarthelpguides.com, go to check DNS record option, type your domain name here, then select NS, it stands for name servers, then click on find. Right now you can see it will check with multiple DNS resolvers and these are our current DNS records. After making the changes, we can use the same site to verify if our changes are successful or not. Let's go back to Cloudflare, then copy this record first. Now go back to Hostinger. From here, you have to go to the left sidebar, Domains. Click on Domain Portfolio. Then you will see all the domains listed in your account. Click on Manage Domain for the domain which you want to connect to the Cloudflare. Now click on DNS Name Servers. Click on Change Name Servers. Select Change Name Server. Now we have to replace it with the Cloudflare name servers. This is the first one. Then copy the second name server and replace it. Then click on save. Now you can see this message. Name servers have been changed, but it will take up to 24 hours for the changes to be reflected. Do not worry. It usually takes about 30 minutes for the changes to be reflected and your website will continue to work. There is no downtime. Click on close here. Now if we again go back to this website and click on find, you can see it is still reflecting the old name servers. So we can come back after 30 minutes and check if the name server has been changed or not. Now let's go back to Cloudflare and click on continue. Here you will notice Cloudflare is currently displaying this message invalid name servers. That is because we have just made the change and it will take some time before Cloudflare can detect it and they will automatically send you an email when the name server change is detected by Cloudflare servers. So that's basically it. Now all you have to do is wait for some time and your domain will start working with Cloudflare. So I will quickly show you some important settings of Cloudflare. For that, go to DNS here and you can see here all the imported DNS settings. If any setting is missing, you can create a new record because now we are using Cloudflare so if you create, want to create a subdomain there or you want to activate some other service, then you have to manually add that record. It's very easy to do so, but I will quickly show you a demo 
how you can do that click on add record here from here you have to select the type of record you want this is for ipv4 this is for ipv6 and this is for cname and you can find all type of dns records like mx record txt record which are required by various services to verify that you actually own this domain to know more you can watch my other detailed video on this topic and you can learn everything about dns record for a subdomain, if that is a shop.mywebsite.com, I will put shop here, then put IP address of the server. For example, I will just copy IPv4 address of my main server here, paste it, and you have to keep this proxy status on. Otherwise, you will not be able to take advantage of all Cloudflare services. Then click on save. So that's how easy it is to create a DNS record. And some other important settings are SSL, by default, Cloudflare will enable this full SSL, but if you are having any SSL related issue due to any reason, then you can change it to flexible temporarily till you sort out the SSL issue. So Cloudflare is still waiting for name server update confirmation. You will automatically get an email and you do not have to do anything else. Your Cloudflare will start working automatically. But I would suggest you to watch my other video on Cloudflare. You can learn how to make your WordPress website much more secure by using the free plan of Cloudflare by enabling custom page rules and other security settings, SSL settings. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. I hope you found it useful.